What is going on guys? This is Simon from SG and today we're going to learn how to set up Google Analytics on your WooCommerce store. If this is your first time here, make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, it really helps out the channel. And with that, let's get into it. Oh, and also all the links in this video can be found in the description box below. Okay, now let's officially get into it. Okay, so WooCommerce Google Analytics. The reason I prefer this rather than adding um, your Google Analytics account manually to your site is that um, the plugin does stuff automatically. Um, like if you add a product to a cart, if you purchase something, it's gonna calculate you know, the order total, the product total, et cetera, in your e-commerce dashboard. So with that, let's get this plugin and it's for free. So download the plugin. Um, again, the links can be found in the description box below. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna purchase the plugin for free on WooCommerce's site. And on the checkout page, it's gonna give me this link to download the zip file of the plugin. Okay, next, I need to install the plugin on my WooCommerce store. So I have this WP Wholesale site and I am going to go on my WooCommerce dashboard and I'm gonna to go to plugins, add new, and I'm gonna upload this plugin and um, here we go. I'm gonna click install now. Okay, and I'm gonna activate the plugin. And now you will see that if I go to the WooCommerce Google Analytics settings, and that's under WooCommerce settings integration, right here, I need to add my Google Analytics ID. So let's go get that. And so I'm gonna open up a new tab and I'm gonna go to analytics.google.com. Again, all these links can be found in the description box below. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new account real quick and I'm just gonna call this WP Whole. Cool, and I'm just gonna go next and this is gonna be for my website and I'm gonna enter in this URL. Cool, and I'm just gonna do um, our computers and electronics and I'm gonna update this to central time and I'm gonna click create. So there's gonna be a couple of things that you guys have to do. If you guys have already created a Google Analytics account, just bear with me. Okay, so now I get this tracking code, right? And so it's right here. And if I copy this, okay, I just need to get this tracking ID. I don't need to do anything with this tracking code, okay? And I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna add it right here, okay? And for the sake of some simplicity, I'm just gonna save it real quick. And if I go to the home page on my site, and if I view the page source, so if I right click, view page source, okay? And I can, if I search for UA, okay, I don't see anything currently, right? So maybe the website's cached, maybe it's it's going in some other way. So um, I'm just gonna refresh it. And if I open up an incognito tab, you'll see that I see WooCommerce Google Analytics integration. And again, that's going to view developer, view source. And you wanna search for UA hyphen because that is what the tracking ID is here. Okay, great, right? So we got that set up. But before we leave um, Google Analytics, we also need to enable enhanced e-commerce tracking. So I'm gonna go back here. Um, if I click this, I'll show it to you. If I click this admin tab right here, I then need to go to e-commerce settings. Okay, this is important. And I wanna enable an e-commerce and then enable enhanced e-commerce reporting. And I'm gonna click save. Success, cool. So now I'm gonna come back to um, this Google Analytics plugin settings. And I also wanna set my domain name. Now this is optional, but I like to set it. Um, so I'm gonna do wpwholesale.com. Okay, and I want to enable standard tracking. And um, if you're currently using another third-party Google Analytics plugin and you really don't want to stop using that, um, you could not enable this, but I'd always say for everybody to enable standard tracking, um, I would enable display advertising record support, enable this, um, enable universal analytics unless you've used Google Analytics previously. Again, there's more 
um, of these links. I can show you in the docs in the bio. And then these other options. So I like to track 404 errors. Um, if you're also, you know, I think it is necessary to um, anonymize IP addresses as well. And I want to track purchase transactions, add a card events, and enhance, um, enable enhanced e-commerce, because that's what I just set up in my Google Analytics account. Cool, so I'm gonna save my changes. Boom. And now if I go back, and now I wanna do a quick test, right? So I'm gonna go back to my Google Analytics account, and I'm gonna go to um, real time. I'm gonna go to overview. In real time, I have what, one user. So this one user right here, okay, that is what is showing up on this, this right now. There's one active user on the site. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through a test transaction. So I'm gonna get this hoodie with zipper. Okay, I'm gonna add it to the cart. And I'm gonna proceed to check out. And I also have a coupon I wanna apply. And I'm just gonna name this person John Doe. And um, cool. And I'm going to add in a testing from Stripe and cool. I am going to place my order. Did I fill out all the fields? So I'm gonna place my order. So the order's been received, awesome. So now um, I'm gonna go back to my Google Analytics account, okay? And I can see that um, this is the active page because that's the active page I'm on because I'm in a private window on Chrome. And now if I go to um, conversion, e-commerce, and I need to filter this to just the date today because it's only gonna do the last seven days. And this may take up to you know 24 hours to show up. And now after doing my test transaction or if you had other customers on your site start using Google Analytics, you need to wait up to 24 hours for results to start displaying in your Google Analytics dashboard. So, um, if I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go to my conversions and under e-commerce, I'm not gonna be able to see this data until you know at least 24 hours or it may be 12 hours or usually it's 24 hours. So um, with that, I am going to wait 24 hours and then give you guys feedback on what you guys should be seeing in your Google Analytics dashboard. And we're back 24 hours later. Um, if you take a look at the screen, the transaction showing up in Google Analytics under um, conversions, e-commerce overview, and um, it just takes 24 hours for the initial, then stuff should start showing up right away. Maybe you enable this and add more than one order, so that's why you know your screen is now showing you know thousands of transactions, right? Because your stores are just blowing up and doing a great job. So. Um, so a couple other things, you know, you can look at product performances, obviously when you have more than one product and overall, um, you know, just kind of close this out, the WooCommerce Google Analytics plugin, I would highly recommend it. I also would recommend the WooCommerce Google Analytics Pro plugin. That is a paid plugin, but it does some other cool stuff like, you know, this, we put a coupon code on this order, if you remember, um, but it's not gonna show that um, like specific coupon code, unless you're using the pro plugin, if you wanna um, look at this shopping behavior insights and have everything um, accurate dialed in, you're gonna need the WooCommerce Google Analytics Pro plugin, especially if you're like refunding orders and you just want everything to be perfect um, and like the revenue to match from your WooCommerce store to your Google Analytics dashboard. So that's it, if you're sick and tired of you know, manually trying to set this up in Google Tag Manager or um, even worse, you know, trying to send custom events, um, like custom coding and stuff just doesn't come out the right way in terms of like coupon codes or, you know, simple and variable products and the variations change, but that price doesn't change in your reporting. 
then I would highly recommend the Google Analytics free plugin. And um, you can also see this video I'll put at the end for the Google Analytics Pro plugin. I'd highly recommend it. And with that, have a good rest of your day, guys. And um, like this video if it helped out and make sure to subscribe. Have a good one. Thanks. Peace.